As I mentioned, we need a criteria to determine how good a quality is. So in this section, we will discuss the loss functions. First, I would like to talk about several different types of loss function proposed by Takuchi Genichi. Uh, let's think of the conventional measure of quality. In the past, we usually use the goalpost type of uh, quality control, such as the figure over here. So you have a uh, tolerance limit. This is the upper limit of tolerances, and this is the lower limit of tolerance. So when your output is within this range, this tolerance range, there will be no loss. However, if it is outside the tolerance range, there will be some loss. You need to either disqualify the part or you need to refurbish the part in order to make it qualified. Therefore, there will be some loss associated with these uh, modifications. So here, assuming the uh, loss, when this part is outside of the tolerance range is A0. Therefore, this is not a continuous criteria. Anything within, there will be no loss. However, anything outside the range, there will be loss A0. I think I can use a very simple example. Say, uh, in this course, in order to pass this course, your minimum point should be 70s in order to get the credit. If you get something below 70, Points such as 69, you will fail this course. But if you get one point more, 70 points, you will pass the course. I think the students who get a 69 point will be very unhappy about that. His performance is very close to the person, to the students with 70 points. However, they have different fate. One need, need to retake the course, but the other one, they can pass the course. I think this is similar to this uh, traditional uh, measure of quality using the goalpost uh, criteria. Therefore, Takuchi proposed another concept, another measurement of the quality using quadratic function. His uh, basic idea is if we have a target M, if any output deviate from the target, anything will cause some loss. Anything, the larger the deviation from the target, the larger the loss. So based on these two concepts, he proposed a quadratic function like this one. And uh, this quadratic function will touch the target point, which means that if the output is right at the target, there will be no loss. If the output is away from the target, the farther it away from the target, the larger the loss. He thinks this kind of a loss function can better describe a, a quality. And in addition, based on the different characteristics of a system, he proposed three different types of loss functions, such as nominal the best, smaller the better, and larger the better. So in the following sessions, we will introduce these three different types of loss function. The first one is called nominal the best. Just like the previous uh, example I just mentioned, he using a quadratic function. And the button of the quadratic function is right at the target. And the equation is k multiplied by y minus m squared. m is the target. And y is the performance. Using these equations, anything away from the target will cause some loss. Here, k is called quality loss coefficient. And in order to connect it, the quadratic function with the previous goalpost quality control concept, he make this quadratic function pass through the conventional controlling point, which is the loss outside of a tolerance. In the previous quality control criteria, anything outside of the tolerance range will incur a loss A0. So he make this quadratic function pass through this point. And by substitute the value into this equation, you can easily understand what is the uh, quality loss coefficient. K will be equal to the loss from the previous criteria over delta, which is the tolerance of your specification. For the smaller the beta loss function, he used another quadratic function, ky squared. 
since the smaller the output, the smaller the loss. Therefore, for, for this equation, if you have a smaller output, the loss will be smaller too. Again, in order to connect the concept with the previous uh, uh, criteria, in the previous smaller the better criteria, they using a step size of loss criteria, which means that they have a allowable upper limit. Anything higher than this limit, need, they need to either disqualify the part or refurbish the part. So uh, we assume the loss associated with this uh, modification will be A0. Similarly, uh, Taguchi using these uh, quadratic loss functions and pass through this uh, conventional control point. And then you can get a coefficient of the k by substituting the number into that. So a, therefore, a0 will be equal to k multiplied by delta square. So k will be equal to a0 over delta square as well. The third type loss function is called larger the better. If you prefer something such as the uh, energy efficient or like uh, the structure strength, you hope the strength will be as large as possible. In the past, you will set up allowable low limit. Anything above that, okay. But if your performance is below the tolerance limit, there will be some loss. In order to, to make it continuous, this is the quadratic function Takuchi proposed. Therefore, if you have a larger output y, then the loss will be smaller. This will be a continuous curve. And this curve can better describe the uh, larger the better case and without the discontinuous problems for conventional criteria. Again, he acts this curve to pass through the control point of conventional criteria. And you can substitute this point into the equation and get what is the coefficients k. So these are all three types of loss function that Takuchi proposed and he thinks this can uh, substitute the conventional uh, step size or goalpost criteria. And using that can be an objective criteria to determine how good your design is.